Hello, welcome to Bullet Student Tutor YouTube channel. My name is Joey G, and today I'm going to explain the Wobbly table. Hello, and welcome to AP Physics. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the Wobbly table. So first, in order to understand the idea behind it, we go to 2D dimension drawing. As we see, this is the table where we see from the side view, and the middle line, the line in the middle is when the two feet are overlapping with each other. Now, we're assuming it's in contact with the unequal surface, and assuming the lengths between each of the feet are the same. In order to solve this, we rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees, and now we reach the second graph, which then means both sides are two overlapping feet. So now when we understand this, let's go to the 3D dimension. Assuming there's a table with the four equal length feet, one, two, three, four. And if you see from above, this is how the point we're in contact with the surface, one, two, three, four. So now let's assume the table has an unequal surface in contact. As we see, one, two, four are in contact surface, but three has a height above the surface, which means the surface and the tip of the foot three, there's a distance between it. So in order to solve this, we still, we rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees, where as it shows now, the fourth foot rotate to the position where it has a height between the tip of the fourth foot and the surface. But we want one, two, four should be in contact with the surface. So in order to solve this, we let the table to stick into the surface. Specifically, the foot three should be going to the surface. And now one, two, four again are in contact with the surface with the same distance, which is zero. So if we construct a function of height between surface and foot three, Noted as f of theta depends on the angle we rotate. We know f of zero bigger than zero, which is initial starting point, and f of pi over two, which is after we rotated 90 degrees, the surface is going, the tip is going into the surface, whereas it's shown. So that's why the distance between it is negative. So we construct a graph of the function, and now we see. If a continuous function has a value from switching from positive to negative, then based on the intermediate value theorem, we know there has to be one point at least in the graph where it intersects with the x-axis, and at this theta i, the four foot are on the ground, are on the ground, and that's how we solve the Wobbly table question. Thanks for watching.